<laughs> buttery. <laughs> Too buttery. <clears throat> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Roll 88 coming at you live and in the flesh and in the Holy Spirit through Ruach HaKadosh. Um, I finally got my beard grooming kit, so that's awesome. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about the Bereans, or the Bereans, sorry, Bereans, yes, pronunciation matters, uh, the Bereans uh, from the book of Acts in the Bible, so the Bereans were people after Jesus' heart, um, and uh, yeah, they were a really strong church, they supported each other, loved each other, uh, they fed the sheep, um, they did everything Jesus told them to do, they obeyed the commandments, everything, okay, so the Bereans are great. And that's how we should model ourselves after. And then I also wanted to talk to you guys about Caiaphas. Now, he was the one that said, better that Jesus should die than a whole people. Because Jesus was doing all these miracles and stuff. And uh, Caiaphas was like, well, he's going to get the attention of the Romans, and they're going to want to kill all the Jews, right? So Caiaphas reasoned with the others and said, hey, it's better that we put him up for death than all of us. Which is really cowardly when you think about it, right? Um, it's like if he's doing miracles and he is the Messiah and Savior, which Jesus is, then you shouldn't have a person like Caiaphas going out there and saying, hey, he needs to die instead of all of us. But that's just the way that, it, uh, the, way that the world works, basically. Um, you know, the people, uh, you know, what is it? Um... For the greater good, right? That's what they say. So that's definitely the case with Caiaphas. As you see this guy who is saying, oh, it's for the greater good, you know? A lot of people survive when Jesus dies, right? Well, it's not for the greater good, but in the end, it was prophecy, so it was. It was. It's all perfect. It works out perfectly. It always does with Jesus and God. So anyways, um, yeah, this is what I wanted to compare, though. We're not the modern-day church. They're all apostate, pretty much. Um, the church is underground. The church is me. The church is you watching this video, whoever you are. Um, I love you very much, too, by the way. And, yeah, we're not like the Brigands because technology has split us apart and made us feel lonely, suicidal, everything else that we shouldn't be feeling. But, anyways, the modern-day church, Hillsong, Elevation Worship, all this other stuff, to me, that's the equivalent of Judas. And I'm not talking about Judas when he was an apostle. I'm not talking about Judas when he betrayed Jesus. I'm talking about Judas when he hung himself and his bowels gushed out into the field of blood. Okay, that's the equivalent of today's church. Um, apostasy, apostate buildings. It's the equivalent of when Judas's bowels gushed out in the field of blood. That is exactly the church. <laughs> The apostasy that we're dealing with okay you know and yeah the reason I say that is because they've pretty much already betrayed Jesus so now the only thing that is left for these people is for their bowels to gush out so <laughs> actually that's perfect because that lines up with the whole Justin Bieber and the baboon and the earth video and everything else so anyways at any rate repent if you haven't heard it already you need to repent you need to stop ignoring people and do it. Say, Jesus, forgive me. You know, pray the Lord's Prayer. If you don't know it, look it up. Duck, duck, go. I don't recommend Google because they're a bunch of evil Satanists. I mean, there's a bunch that flock around it. So, anyways, at any rate, like, comment, subscribe. I love you very much. Say, Jesus, forgive me. Please do, because I want to see everyone in heaven. And... I just know that that's not going to be the case because it's a very rebellious, wicked generation. And there's a lot of people that hate this message right here. So, I mean, but that's okay because you know what? You're Judas with your, with your bowels gushing out. And I'm the loving Berean that just wishes that Judas had never betrayed Jesus in the first place. But prophecy has to happen. Things have to happen. And this is the hour that we're in. So, anyways, I love you all very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.